Hey, Bournemouth fans, I've got a very, very kind request here. Yeah? A very, very kind request. And if you guys do accept it, let me know in the comments below. So you see these last two games? Against Arsenal and against Lille. The Villa players put a lot of energy in them games, yeah? And the Villa players right now are absolutely exhausted. So this is my request, yeah? You see this game against you guys? Tell your manager, Iraola, to take this game karma, karma. Because I know how he plays high energy football, high intensity. And you see you guys right now, let's be honest, Bournemouth fans, please. Let's be honest. You're 13th in the league. You're on 42 points. You're absolutely cruising. You ain't really got much to play for, Bournemouth fans. Come on now, be real, have ya? You ain't really got much to play for. So, this is the request. Just let your manager know to take this game karma karma yeah if you guys do accept my request Bournemouth fans let me know in the comments below and this is from all Villa fans we appreciate it yeah people how's it going welcome back to the channel and of course we are back beautiful scenery of Villa Park in the background and of course Bournemouth fans you have seen the intro yeah so just let us know in the comments below if you guys do accept our request on behalf of all Aston Villa fans but on a serious note let's get straight into it and of course Aston Villa are coming back from the win against Lille in the Europa Conference League quarter final and of course now we're in the semi-final of the Europa Conference League this is absolutely huge huge man what a time to be a Villa fan right now fighting for top four semi-final of the Conference League this is massive right now, man. And one thing, let's just touch on that little game. Emmy Martinez, you know, people need to put respect on his name. And the thing is, people are right now, yeah, you can talk about his antics on the pitch, you know, what he does to wind the opposition team up, but you have to respect him, man. The media outlets saying Emmy Martinez is this. He still got them little fans rattled, bruv. They're still rattled right now, you know. Hey, that game though, hey, it was crazy, man. That was absolutely crazy. That penalty shootout, man. The way Emmy Martinez got in their heads was absolutely mad. But anyway, let's get straight into this Bournemouth game. And I have to say, the Villa players are going to be absolutely exhausted. And let's get into some of the quotes. We got the quotes right here from Emmy Martinez after the little game. He said, I think the fans should give us a lift on Sunday against Bournemouth. There's going to be people tired. Yeah, like I said. Emery, he said, it's difficult to know how the players will be for Sunday after the match we played versus Lille. So it clearly shows, yeah, the players are going to be tired. They're going to be exhausted, man. So the fans, this game, aye, the energy levels, they need to be up here. Yeah, the energy levels need to be different this game. The atmosphere needs to be on it, man. So yeah, aye, it's going to be a brilliant, brilliant game. And us Villa fans need to get the players through this game. And one thing as well, like, when it comes to big teams... They love to play games regularly, like they want to play a lot of games man, that's how you become an elite level team, an elite level of a football club and that's what Aston Villa are striving to be man. And also as well Villa fans, this is a chance to go 6 points clear of Spurs before they have to play Arsenal you know. They got some tough games, they got Arsenal to play still, Chelsea to play, Man City to play, Liverpool to play, so you see this game against Bournemouth, these 3 points are absolutely huge man. So yeah man, this game, we have to get three points. Like I said before, the fans, we need to push the players and get over the line. But anyway guys, let's touch on Bournemouth right now. 13th in the league, 42 points. And like I said, they're absolutely cruising. Like their manager, Iraiola, he's a top manager, you know, the football he plays, high intensity. Like I said, we, we don't want to see that Bournemouth fans here. We don't want to see you man pressing us high up the pitch, you know, playing that high energy football. We want you guys to take it karma, karma. But of course, this is the Premier League and no team takes it easy. And any other team, despite if you are cruising and if the season's kind of done for you, um, but yeah, they're going to get a mid-table finish. I think they got more chance of getting uh, Europa uh, League football than getting relegated. They ain't, re they ain't going to get relegated right now. They're on 42 points, like I said. They're steady right now, man. Um, and yeah, their manager, I have to say, I respect him quite a lot. He plays some good football. I'm going to touch on how they do play. Um, 
But yeah, man, he's done a, uh, he's done a massive, massive job for them. Um, and they got some good players as well, which we'll get into. Let's get into Bournemouth's previous result. Of course, they drew against Manchester United. And you know, Man United, the man are always getting lucky, man. They somehow get wins, you know. They somehow just get wins. And the football Bournemouth played, they absolutely dominated United, man. They should have won it as well. Um, but you know, Man United, they've always been lucky this season, man. Um, but yeah, like Bournemouth were the better team, I have to say. The previous result against the Villa, of course, at their ground, we drew 2-2. Semenyo scored early, um, and yeah, man, it was 1-0. Then, of course, Leon Bailey equalised to make it 1-1, and that was his trademark finish. Left foot curled it in, uh, and then, yeah, man, it was Solanke that scored for them. And we'll touch on Solanke as well, you know, 17 goals this season, bro. 17 goals this season. But yeah, like I said, we'll touch on him. And then, of course, Watkins with that header was like, 90th minute um and it was 2-2 of course Diego Carlos's goal got ruled um offside and yeah man there was quite a few chances that game Emi Martinez made some good good saves as usual from Dominic Solanke uh, Semenyo should have got a second yellow as well when he pulled Leon Bailey's shirt I don't know how he never got a second yellow there uh, but yeah that game I have to say Bournemouth played some good football uh, but yeah man we did equalise last minute with Ollie Watkins scoring and let's just get into a few danger man like I said Solanke bro 17 goals this season you know we're talking about Ollie Watkins and Ollie Watkins bro one of the best strikers in Europe up there, man. But you see Dominic Solanke, bruv. People need to put respect on his name. 17 goals, you know. Like I said, 17 goals this season in the Premier League. is absolutely smashing it. Uh, and yeah, man, he's a player we're going to have to watch out for. And Kirkes as well, their left back. He can push high up the pitch. He's got that energy, yeah. He's got that energy, man. He can make them runs. Uh, so yeah, he's a player as well we're going to have to watch out for. But yeah, overall, Bournemouth, they're a team, you know, that have threats. Um, and yeah, man, they can cause problems to Villa. Now, people, we got some quotes here. And this is from the Bournemouth owner, Bill Foley. If I said that wrong, Bournemouth fans, let me know in the comments below. But he basically said, style of play was an important factor when he appointed Iraola, yeah? So, yo, you see Bournemouth, they're a cultured football club, you know? They're a very cultured football club. They've had Gary O'Neill, plays good football. Eddie Howe, plays good football, you know what I mean? So, hey, they know their stuff, man. They're very cultured. Iraola explained his philosophy as well in pre-season, and he basically said to be efficient is to play as close as to their box as we can. All right, all right. And then he said, we will play a little bit higher up the pitch as much as we can in their half. We have the work rate, especially from our front players. They can sustain the press, make us play high, so we are closer when we regain possession to their goal. You see these quotes? Should I tell you what? Should I tell you what this tells me? This manager knows his stuff, you know. He's got principles. He's got a footballing philosophy, and he knows what he wants from his players. He's drilled his philosophy to the players, and the players are doing it on the football pitch, man. So, respect to the manager, respect to the players, and yeah, man. Hey, you see that game tomorrow? It's going to be tough, man. Like I said, they play good football, high energy, up the pitch, high intensity. And yeah, man, Villa, we're going to have to be on it because, hey, like I said, them quotes there, hey, he knows what he's talking about, man. He knows what he's talking about. Now we've touched on Bournemouth, let's touch on the Villa and how we will set up. You see this game? It's got a few words. Take control yeah Villa just need to take control have the position because you see Bournemouth they're going to try sit back they're going to try hit Villa on the counter attack transitional football that's how I think they're going to play but you see Villa we're going to have the possession be dominant on the ball don't make any mistakes Villa yeah especially at the back don't make any mistakes because they're forwards Dominic Solanke players like that they'll get the chance and they will score man they will punish us so yeah man just take control one thing as well just run at them man yeah on the wings on the wings, they don't really have much control there. Like, teams do hurt them on the wings. So, we can probably see Leon Bailey, you know, start and just run at them. The RB start, just run at them. Um, but, yeah, I'll get into my predicted lineup in a bit. Can I see Leon Bailey start? I don't know, man, because he was strapped uh, against um, Lille. So, yeah, man, it's going to be interesting to see the lineup. But, yeah, man, that's one area we can possibly hurt them down the flanks. Uh, and, yeah, just like I said, take control, Villa. Take control, have possession, and just be the dominant side. All right, people, let's get into my predicted lineup now. So, of course, in goal, Emi Martinez. Yeah, he's staying there, he ain't going anywhere. Um, so, yeah, Martinez in goal. Right back, I'm going to go with Esri Kansa. Matty Cash, I think Una Emery will rest him. He played, you know, the full game, uh, including extra time as well against Lille. So, yeah, man, I think 
Ezri Konsa will come in as well. And also I want Ezri Konsa there because you see centre backs. I want to see Pau Torres and I want to see Diego Carlos straight back in the team, man. Like I said, Dominic Selanke is a threat. And you see Diego Carlos, he's got that presence here. Yeah? The Brazilian bodybuilder, the Brazilian brick wall. Yeah, he's got the presence, he's got the recovery pace. So I need Diego Carlos at the back and I need Ezri Konsa as right back. Um, and yeah, man, we need that solid back three there, man. Ezri Kant is defending as well. I do think he's better than Matty Cash's. Uh, he's a natural centre-back anyway, so it makes sense. But yeah, man, I'll play Ezri Kant right back. Centre-backs, Diego Carlos, Pau Torres. Then, of course, Luca Dean left back. Alex Moreno is injured. Uh, so yeah, straight Luca Dean in there. Centre-mids now, I'm going to go with Tielemans. I'm going to go with John McGinn, yeah. I think Unai Emery will play that. On the right, it's an interesting one now. Does he start Leon Bailey? Because for me... I don't know if he's fully, fully fit. He was strapped against Lille. So, can we see him start? I'm not sure. I'll probably see uh, a DRB on the right more time. Uh, and then Morgan Rogers on the left. Now, I'm thinking, yeah. I don't know if this will happen, but... Can we see John Duran play next to the gunman, Ali Watkins? Can we see John Duran start? Because when he came on against Lil, this guy caused problems, you know. Any team he comes on against, he causes problems. Like, he's such a chaos baller. Like, he's a top, top talent. So, I wouldn't mind seeing John Duran start against Bournemouth, man. I have to say, if you guys do agree with my predicted 11, let me know in the comments below, Villa fans. Now, score prediction time. Score prediction time. Can I see Villa getting a clean sheet? I don't know, man. Like I said, we're tired, so we might concede. Yeah, the players are exhausted. Bournemouth, they got the energy levels. So, I'm going to go with 2 1, man. I'm going to go 2 1 to the Villa, win this game, get the three points. And yeah, man, go six points clear of Spurs. I know they got a game in hand, but they still need to play that. Yeah, let me get that in. But yeah, man, win this game and go six points clear of Spurs. I know they got a game in hand, but let me get this in again. They got some tough, tough games, man. But yeah, Villa fans, aye. It's so good right now, man. It is so good right now. In a semi-final of the Europa Conference League. In the top four right now. Hey, Villa fans, if you ain't hitting the gym session right now, something ain't right, you know. If you ain't hitting the bench press, something ain't right, man, I have to say. <laughs> but, but yeah, man, let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments below. Any Bournemouth fans watching, let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below, people. Uh, and yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and up the mighty Villa. And also, as all people, stay tuned for the match reaction uh, and also as well the match day vlog. Come on, you Villa boys.